Hi Aliopas, had to switch the lower octave during singing John Williams' Jurassic Park main motif then due to the highness and almost the impossibility of whistling at such a height. Utterly fucking knackered, thought I'd do a quick video. Um, this one will be quick, the last one needed to be edited but I wanted to get online super quick. I'm not going to jibber jabber too much, I'm doing it now ironically. I uh, just wanted to show you where we've been since the last time you saw us. Obviously we got evicted on Saturday the 28th of November. We were homeless for approximately three hours before coming to this place. Whee! Welcome to Church Walk House here in uh, Cricklewood. This garden here is absolutely humongous. We've already got our plans for that bit. We're going to mix uh, permaculture with ethnobotany. So growing food and plants together that would be super nice and happy together, but also being able to make medicines, deodorants, even clothing using hemp. This is my little room here. This particular room probably had an old person dying, which is a bit weird, but you'd probably pay about 500 quid a month for this, and we're not, because that's silly. That's sad. You don't pay to live on your own home planet. That's fucking nuts. Great, everything in the nothing is finished. Da, 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 da. About to pop that online, hopefully tonight or tomorrow. However, whilst I'm filming this, they're in court now. So we've had a 10 a.m. hearing for this place. As you can see, Cecil and Central Housing Trust, they're the people who own this particular building. So, just a quick bit of background information on Central and Cecil Housing Trust. The Central and Cecil Housing Trust, Central and Cecil Housing Trust, that's a lot of C's, a lot of alliteration. Um, the people who own this building. The Housing Trust was actually founded by a woman back in the 1920s. I can't remember your name now, love. I'm sorry, it doesn't matter too much because you're dead, so there's no ego to get hurt by it, although your family might watch it, so it lives on. Um, she was a rich lady very rich. She was from the upper classes. Um, if you don't have class in your country, classes where there's some people who are way better than other people. It's called a VIP system or capitalism as it's now known. And much like in the Disney classic Aladdin with Princess Jasmine, looked out at the poor world and through the, the gates of her castle, mansion or palace or whatever the fuck it was, and thought I wonder if it's more liberating out there uh, being homeless because have to worry about etiquette anymore, how I look, how I dress, how I eat at the table and how I speak and so forth. I wonder if, if I could go out there and see what it's like. So she went and tried it out. So for two weeks she went and lived on the streets. Uh, she came back, she wasn't too pleased with that. It didn't work out. Uh, it wasn't more liberating. In fact, it was extremely harrowing and she documented her memoirs in a book which got quite uh, famous in the 1920s. It was extremely popular, it was a bestseller called In Darkest London. Um, and that's what this house interest was founded on. It was helping vulnerable people, specifically the homeless. So if you're watching, we're them people. We could do with a hand central in Cecil if you're watching. I don't think you will. And even if you are, you don't give a shit because everything's about money. Money, 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 money. However, over time, it became more about caring for the elderly. And that's what this place is, basically. It's an old, old person's home. Again, same thing, left for like two, three years. Um, in this particular case, it's quite bizarre because next door to us we've got the vicar John Wade, right? He was an absolute dude. He's been helping us out with gardening tools for the front. Uh, he sold it for a quid uh, to them so because he knows that they're a good company. They're basically they're a care home company. Uh, and because they were doing something wonderful and charitable, he gave it them for a quid. They're now selling it for a slight profit of 11,999,999 quid. 12 million they're now selling it for to Montague Evans, who, again, bizarrely, are a property developer um, who are going to fucking trash the place and turn it into a horrible, affordable housing, as we all know. If you live in London or England or planet Earth, there's not really such a thing as affordable housing anymore. Squatting is the only affordable housing and the only ethical choice. Uh, if you notice, there's something quite bizarre about this one. Look at this. <clears throat> so here's, uh, here's the defendants list. There's quite a few as normal. I was Frank Freeman last time. Uh, I was going to be Tam Tomlin today. <laughs> Mix it up, you know what I'm saying. Uh, if you look at that, Pierce Corbin is on the defendants list. Pierce Corbin, there's my room there. Tommy G, unite! Uh, Pierce Corbin's had no involvement in this project whatsoever, except for making a really tiny statement uh, where he basically said, once again, I totally agree with what these guys are doing. Uh, next door in that building there, I don't know if you can see. That dog's been a bit of a wreck. He's trespassing. There's laws against that, mate. You might be alright because you're in a different form to us. This building next door we're going to occupy as well, because uh, it's completely fucking empty. 
Um, but the security in there, which is absolutely amazing. They've been there 24 hours constantly. I spoke to them a few times. I dropped some sandwiches off because the local news agents have been giving us their waste food and whatnot. The Imaginarium crew is now in there. Ugh. This place is purgatory. This isn't. This is uh, the little computer room. It's not quite what we had at the last place, to say the least. Uh, I'm just going to show you around, basically. Just a super quick one. Uh, this is probably the best place in the world for playing music. Look at this. The acoustics are mind-boggling. Uh, I've actually been teaching in here, although, simply because the acoustics were so good. But um, we decided that wasn't going to work out because it's cold as fuck in here. Here's the end credits for the Allman Group documentary. Whoa. There's all the nice people who have helped us. Bob Molly, Justin Hall, Tipid South Park, Phil Paul, and Dyser, Ali, my good brother Colin Turner, and Romano Maharashi, Chris Morris, Steve Coogan, and so forth, LSD Mescaline. If we keep going, this is where I started doing it. Welcome to the Free Guitar, our music theory studio. Whee! Please feel free to come in and use the instruments, jam to your heart's content. Practice does make perfect. Neuroplasticity. Watch what you're practicing. That judge today will be practicing uh, inhumanity and leaving people on the streets today. So you've got to watch what you're practicing. We do apologize for the mess, of course, here at the Camden Mothership, but we are currently trying to renovate the world. The stuff of the Camden Mothership. This is what's left of my um, studio here. Amazingly, we've only been here about two weeks, I think we've managed to be here for. I've managed to teach about 20 people in here. <laughs> Something all right, actually. Again, acoustics aren't too bad now. Let's just pop out. Main corridor, everything is dripping wet. If you see wetness anywhere, it's because of Murphy. If you remember, is my muse, my soulmate, my beautiful lady. Um, because of tea, she's a tea addict. So if you see wetness anywhere in this building, it's not because it's so derelict or not fit for purpose, as Central and Cecil Housing uh, stated recently in the London Evening Standard. It's because she's dripping tea or clothing everywhere. Welcome to the main staircase. Sort of generic, beautiful, old people's home style. Uh, this place was in a way worse condition. Way worse condition. This is the... Oh, for fuck's sake, sorry. Bicycle mechanic workshop in here. Da, 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 da. Loads of tools. Uh, we've got another building open already. Not going to put this out line, online before then because I don't know where we fucking are. But it's, uh, it's in Hyde Park. There's a big protest in Hyde Park in Chelsea about exactly this. Over development and gentrification. And that's the rich people getting pissed off. So you do the math. <laughs> Main all. Oh no, I can't film Ben. Can't film Ben. I'm Ben. Imagine I'm Ben. I'm tall. Imagine I'm tall. You can say anything you want to the world now. It's got to be really inspirational. I've got a hiccup. That'll do so it. I'll, I'll That'll do it. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> From. The world top. Listen. Go on. What? Go on. No, you're on. You're on. Fuck the bailiffs. Did you get that? Fuck the bailiffs. So we've got fuck the bailiffs and we've got hiccups. That's philosophy from the Camden Mothership. Huge corridor, right? This place has 50, 50 rooms in. Not fit for purpose or not, as we've stated in the last video, if you are homeless, you couldn't give a flying fuck whether it's not fit for purpose or not. Uh, I'm not going to go the whole way down there. That goes to that corridor I just showed you with the amazing acoustics. Uh, kitchen. What's left of the kitchen? We're doing the same thing again where we're just doing this. Carmen's over there, I won't get him on film. Uh, and look at that, I'm making tighty cakes for when they get back. Classic Scottish dish. I've actually got one shallot left, so I can probably, I'll get, if you want to find any recipes that we do, they're on Tatsu, which is the Human Group's free street food restaurant branch. I'm going to show you something because you guys always email, not saying like, wow, what, what amazing vegan ingredients are available to us? Uh, how can I get hold of them? Uh, they cost a lot, for example, shoplifting is the answer, by the way. Ethical shoplifting always go through corporations. The question you always ask is, how do you do that thing where you chop quickly? So, if I can find a place to put the camera. Can you see that? Right, watch. Pop that down there. Head, keep it strong. Left hand, you want to keep just near the root, but don't pop it on there. The gist is to have your hand like that, so they're not actually 
there's nothing that can get chopped off. You don't want to chop your wrinklies off. Keep that as strong as possible and use the heel of the knife at the back and try and stay still and just move through it like that and you'll keep it very finely chopped. Done. Quickly show you one of my favourite features of an old old person's home. Check this out. This is well good. Da -da -da. So if they need a bit of help, so they call the nurse here, you just I don't think she's gonna come. She's not gonna come. Or there's this button here, which is not nurse. So that could be anything. That could be a genie, plumber, carpenter, anything could come through that door if I press that one. I'm gonna try it. <gasps> nah, I'm right. Right, as I stated, they're in court now. Uh, on trespassing again. Always do us on trespassing now, it's absolutely fucking ridiculous. And basically with trespassing, it says if there's no uh, justifiable reason to be on the land, then we can't be on the land, basically. Uh, I think we've got, yet again, quite a justifiable reason. In fact, on my first day here, the first thing I did was I went to speak to the local residents, primarily to actually say, this is our purpose for our presence here. And secondly, to say, give us a rake if you've got one, haven't I? Uh, they haven't, I think they have gardeners coming and stuff like that. What we didn't know was, um, there's always a story when you come into an abandoned or disused building, was that since 2013, hundreds, and we mean hundreds, this is a small area in Barnet, but hundreds of people have been campaigning against this overdevelopment. Um, and in fact, next door, there's a big sign on the window saying no to overdevelopment. A Facebook group called Save Church Walk. If you search for Save Church Walk on Google, you'll see the, the petition they set up. There's fucking hundreds of names. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, people really, 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 really against this overdevelopment. Uh, in this case, because it's just going to tower over the place. We're on a really idyllic street. If you watched the end of the last video, you saw uh, the door, which is a gorgeous. I've got to show you this. It's mind blowing. This used to be a church. I think that's how the vicar got involved. Look at that door. Whoa. Stunning stained glass. Clean your feet. Thanks. That's feet. I mean, I'm feeling relatively inarticulate because I haven't slept properly for about two weeks again. But yeah, just out here. The chap sort of, I think he's playing with himself. I feel a bit Hitchcock, Hitchcockian voyeuristic here. I'm probably thinking, well, I'm not going to log on to Tatsy and look at your recipes because the thing is, it takes too long. I can just go to, there's good restaurants everywhere. I can't be bothered to cook. It takes too long. That is bollocks. First thing we've got here, that's the potato mix from earlier with some sauteed leek and shallot, which has been fried with black pepper and initially fry off some nigella seeds to make it fragrant. And all I'm going to do now is just add in this thyme stalk. I've just got to strip that down. Some people say that's a bit fiddly, but check this out. See, told you. Done. Next up, all you've got to do is then put it into little patties or the scone mix, which you just do with a bit of flour. That again takes two seconds. So there you go, done, see? And then you just fry them for two to three minutes and they're done, like this. Ta-da! See, done. Little pinch of salt. Bang some coriander on. Don't be too funny with it. Ta-da! Tati scone, Scottish classic. Yes! Right, I'm going to leave you in peace, but they're going to come back from court. We know we're going to lose. I've told them to just go and just play. Uh, just treat it like a circus, enjoy the show, so to speak. I'm going to go and cook some tatty scones. Again, the recipes are on Tatsy. If you go on the Facebook page, Tatsy, you'll find it. There's shitloads more rooms down there. I'm not going to show you them because the last video was way too lengthy. It was a girthy video. Uh, once again, we love you all more than anything. Uh, this next place, we'll keep you updated on the Cabin and Mothership Facebook page. Uh, and again, come down and use the spaces, feel free. Uh, we never want to occupy these buildings and keep them for ourselves. The idea is to do the basic renovation and then allow the community to come in and give it back to them. And whatever they wish to do, uh, use it for, it's up to them, it's their place, isn't it? Uh, the council aren't listening to the people, so the people have got to take the power back. Sweet!